This week at Crooks Lake Lodge, we're uh, experiencing caddis fly hatches anywhere from size uh, 12 to 16 or 18. Um, and we're experiencing some mayfly spinner, spinner falls still. So we're on the tail end of the, some of the mayfly. And there's also some mayfly duns around size, you know, size 12 to, to 16 and some smaller blue wing olives. Generally any size 12 to 16 uh, dark or brown Mayfly imitation works fairly well in these conditions, and small uh, caddis, elk hair caddis, tan bodied uh, from 12 to, to 18 works really well. This week's hot fly has been a clean camera, which is an emerger pattern. It imitates an emerging mayfly or caddis, and it's created by Hans van Klinken. And it's been really hot this week. The fish have been on emergers, and we found this pattern, and we've had great success with it. Um, catching a fish on seven pounds on that fly. So it's been great. Got him. <laughs> I seen him, he rose just right behind it. Ooh, it's not giving me a chance to get him on my reel. So I'm gonna have to fight him this way until I get control of him and keep a tight line. Keep a tight line on him. It's important if you can to get him on the reel as quick as possible. As possible, if he starts running at you, you gotta strip the line in. Okay. Beautiful fish. It's a nice fish. Yep, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I was gonna love this place, Chris. I knew I was gonna love it. See if I can get his head up. Good man, oh my goodness. I am extremely excited about this. Dry fly fishing for giant eastern brook trout. Nothing beats it. I've been here approximately 15 minutes. Giant Eastern Brook Road on a dry fly. A size 12 Goddard Caddis. Outstanding. If you have a fish rising upstream from you, and you must get a cast from downstream, it's important to have a drag-free drift. Cast as normal, drop it, and be sure to take in your line as it comes towards you. This will ensure you have a tighter line on the fish, but your fly doesn't drag. It makes it a lot easier to set the hook on the fish. If there's a rising fish downstream of you, such as that near that submerged rock, again, you must have a drag pre-drift. A similar cast can be used. Stop it high, let it drop, and as the fly floats down over the fish, you have to ensure that you have a drag pre-drift, and sometimes you have to feed it line. Now, as you're feeding line out, it's really important not to move your fly. You let your fly sit, and as you feed line out, you want to wiggle your rod and feed line from your hands in your slack. And if you need a longer drift, you pull line off your reel and continue feeding it. Another cast you can use is a reach cast. A normal cast, and as you push forward, reach across upstream, that also gives you a nice drag free drift. Is. Oh, got him! I just, I just struck when I seen the fish come up. Yeah, good, <laughs> good hook set, Bill. Yeah. Nope. Sometimes you have to use primal instinct. <laughs> yeah. Nope. nope. On, the, on emerger the emerger again. Yeah. On and the you emerger. And you would swear it was a dry fly take, wouldn't you? Yeah, the way he came up. Yeah. But he hit it on the way up. That's what he did, and he just couldn't stop. I'm trying to turn his head. Mm, tough, eh? I don't want to make a stab at him. Nope. Woo! -hoo. <laughs> Just about had a wet guide. <laughs> I'd rather get wet than break them off. You ever hear the limbo? Labrador limbo? That's what that's called. <laughs> Labrador limbo. That's a good one. That's a new one to me. Keep your head up. Good man. Outstanding. <laughs> 